Shalom, shalom. And in today's message, you know, I'm going to say some things that probably about 95, 97% of Christians will reject. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, most Christians don't even know what the gospel is. They think that the gospel is the message that they hear on Sunday. Not even realizing that their message is replacement theology or supersessionism. You know, there's nowhere in the whole of the Bible where Yahshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ, went around teaching Christianity. Nowhere in the whole of the Bible did he say, leave them alone. They're of other religions and we're Christians. It was always the Gentiles, the other nations, you know, referencing them as Christians, but not once did Jesus make himself known as a Christian. You know, a lot of people know that the first time they were called Christians were at Antioch, but you don't know the history beyond Antioch and the deal that was cut with the heathens in the Maccabean period, you know? Man, most Christians will reject truth and won't never receive the truth because you're under a strong delusion. The word says, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him and he is in you. But somehow you've been brainwashed to think that Millions and millions and millions and millions of Christians across the world are living set apart and have come out from among them and are being separate. You know? Man, you can have the truth, but it's going to cost you. And the truth has a very expensive price on it, but it's not in the form of money. You have to be willing to challenge everything you have been taught. Everything you've been taught, you have to be willing to challenge, and that is the price of truth. What good is it for the Most High Yah to show you his truth and you go back to living a lie? That's why he hasn't showed you the wisdom of the word. That's why you continue to read through a religious lens of Christianity, of Baptists, of all these denominations that aren't mentioned nowhere in the whole of the entirety of the Bible and can be traced back to a singular, you know, or multiple wicked men that weren't told to do that. You know, you got to start challenging if you want the truth, because what I get is a lot of people that comment and respond in feelings and emotions. And some of you say, man, I read and I study and all of that, but you know, you're reading scripture or Bible verses sitting around watching people that are under strong delusion, taking guidance from people that are under strong delusion. Something that no pastor, no Christian pastor has ever been able to answer or show proof on is the birth of Jesus being on 25th and that he or the people before him or the disciples and the apostles kept a holiday called Christmas. There ain't one doggone pastor that's been able to prove that via the Bible. And I got, I got plenty, I got plenty of scripture showing you what the heathens did as their custom. You know, 
I got plenty of scripture showing you where the most high Yah tells you not to follow the way of the heathen. You know, when you read in the Bible, Christians love a good story. They love a good lie. You know, when it comes to Easter, you guys take Easter and spin it off the way you want based upon a European Roman Greco holiday that's not the Passover, that's not the Feast of Unleavened Bread, taking, you know, for granted that the Most High Yah says, be careful of the doctrine of the Pharisees. It has leaven in it. You must think that leaven means truth. Man, when you look at the etymology behind a lot of these words, Easter, you're gonna find Passover. How did you get to the point with the Easter bunny, you know, Easter Sunday, all of this stuff, how did you get to that point? It's all religion, vain religion. You know, there's not one Christian that can show you in the Bible where the Most High Yah or Messiah, Yahshua HaMashiach, told you to keep a religion called Christianity. But he did say, her religion undefiled before God is to cover the widows and the fatherless or the orphans in their affliction and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. Why as a Christian do you go to a place of Sunday sun worship that the Most High Yah doesn't dwell? He tells you he doesn't dwell in a place built with built by the hands of men, but he tells you are the temple. We are the temple. Our body is a temple. You go to a place and get your ears tickled and the Most High Yah is not in this place. It's the same way. You might be buying, you might be working in your Christian bookstore, your Christian uh, coffee shop, and you think nothing is wrong with it. But this is why the Most High hasn't shown you the wisdom of the word of what Jesus would have done if he came to your place and flipped the, the, flipped the table of the money changer. You've turned his place of worship into a den of thieves. He called it the house of prayer. How come your doggone church got all these other names on it? You know, there's just, if you're not willing to challenge the truth and walk accordingly based upon the truth, the truth ain't gonna do you no good. The word says the truth shall set you free. The problem is you don't want to know it. You don't want to stand up against the enemy of your own household, which Messiah said, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. And then further down, he says, your enemy will be that of your own household. You're not willing to stand up for truth in your household and say, you know what? We're not bringing no Christmas tree up in here or husband. We don't need to keep this doggone holiday because it's a heathen holiday. You're not willing to stand up for that. You wanna, you wanna go be amongst the people instead of coming out from among them. You know, you gotta think about it. Just in that holiday alone, the word idolatry. Here you are bringing an idol tree in your house, thinking it's the birth of Jesus, because you've been told that, but you've never challenged it. Man, you'll find out that when you do a deep dive, they were keeping, you know, the holiday winter solstice that was adopted by the adopted by the religious Christians 500 years before the birth of Messiah. <laughs> Some birth of Messiah celebration you're keeping now. Does it make sense? Make it make sense. This is why you guys go and give so much money to the church thinking you can buy your way into salvation, thinking you've been commanded to do this, not realizing you've been duped. Tithe has never been money. And you can go back to the Bible and find that. You guys have been duped into thinking that the storehouse is the church, and it's not. The storehouse was a place where they kept food, agricultural, like produce. But you let these loose, loose slip uh, pastors that have gone to Bible college, you gotta think, what disciple or what apostle went through Bible college? All they had to do was walk in truth. And the gospel that these men come out teaching according to Bible college is not the same gospel that Messiah taught. Messiah went around saying, repent, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
Christian, you think you're New Testament or New Covenant. You don't even know what the New Testament is. You can remove that page between the New Testament and the Old Testament. Man, it was European theologians that gave you the division of the book in the order that it's in. But the Most High Yah has to unlock your understanding. The word says the book will remain sealed. You're not walking in truth. They that say they know him and keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Behind every one of your holidays, Christian observances that you love, there's another deity behind it. But the, the truth of the matter is, you won't go back and study to show yourself approved because your flesh loves being a heathen. It loves it, you know? Chances are, your mama was a heathen. Your daddy was a heathen. Your grandmama, your great granddaddy was a heathen. Chances are, you have been brainwashed according to the customs of the heathen and you yourself don't want to walk in truth. And your children's children are going to be going to be under the same curse, under a strong delusion because you love to live a lie. You know, you got to start. If you want to receive the truth, go back and look at the truth about marriage licenses. Why do Christian pastors make you go get a marriage license when two men can go get the same license? Is God in that? Or what deity is actually behind that? Is that the most high Yah? got to look at the truth behind the marriage ceremony. Do you, Bill, take this woman, Sarah, to be your wife? Do you, Sarah, take this man, Bill, to be your husband? A woman ain't never taken a man in the Bible. A man does the taking, you know? You got to look at the history and the truth behind wedding rings. Where does that come from? That wasn't, you, 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 you can't find anywhere in the whole of the Bible that any of the righteous men of the Most High Yah, you know, doggone, was wearing and giving wedding rings. You know, this culture that you love, this girlfriend and boyfriends and all of this, and we're just figuring it out, you know, where is that in the whole of the Bible or is that fornication? You know, there's just so much that because you are listening and hearing and reading through the scope of a vain religion that's outside of the book that is replacement theology, you can go back and look it up. This is why your church takes the stance that they take. Instead of being the true ecclesia, the true ecclesia being the family unit, and this is why y'all got so many abominations being committed in the temple. Your leader is not walking in truth. He's a hypocrite. He's nothing but a, 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 a Pharisee. Nothing but a Pharisee. Tickling the ears of millions. And you allow it. The word doesn't tell you to, to trust everything your pastor says. It tells you to study to show yourself approved. How many of you actually do that? Or you just sit around reading Bible verses you know, with, with feelings and emotions, nobody having a concordance, a lexicon, looking at the etymology of these words, but sitting up here using the doggone uh, uh, Google dictionary, and it's taking you in a whole nother, whole nother doggone direction. This is why Christianity resembles that of a Roman Greco European religion. It's of the heathens. It has nothing to do with the culture and the biblical truth of Israel. That's what the new covenant is. You know, Christians think, have been teaching that the Most High Yah hates divorce. Hmm. For him to hate it, dang, you can go read Jeremiah chapter three or Ezekiel chapter 23 and see what he did when Israel played the harlot. What did he do? He was teaching the gospel even back then. Told Israel she had to repent. But that's all I'm going to give you guys, man. Most people, most Christians can't receive the truth because they're not willing to challenge everything that they've been taught. Once you start challenging the truth, you'll start to realize, man.
Man, it's a lot of folk around me. People that raised me was under strong delusion. Closer to y'all ministries kicking the gun barrel straight.